Hi everyone, I'm Jay Surya. I'm a study abroad advisor and a career guide. Usually, I guide many engineering students and working professionals to various master specializations abroad. In this video, let's discuss about one such specialization, which is very niche specialization called MSc Bioinformatics. Over the last five years, I have guided many students to this particular specialization and I've heard great reviews about it. So let's go ahead and understand what the bioinformatics field is. Over the past two decades, because of tremendous advancements in computing technology, there has been a tremendous amount of data generated, just like any other field, even in biology and medicine. So scientists soon realized that you need to use the powers of computer science to analyze such huge amount of data in order to better develop healthcare policies, in order to you know, uh, find new medicines for diseases, develop new drugs, etc, etc. So this necessity of computing technology within the field of biology and medicine is the birth of the field bioinformatics or also known as computational biology. An MSc bioinformatics degree will give you solid foundation in statistics, computer science, data science, programming, etc. And how you apply these to solve biological problems. It is a very niche field which has tremendous amount of demand of talent in biomedical industries, pharmaceutical industries and healthcare organizations in the USA. Now let's go ahead and understand how the job market is for bioinformatics graduates. How much do bioinformatics professionals make? In the bioinformatics field, the average salary is 80,000 US dollars per annum. Whereas if you get a master's in bioinformatics degree field, a master's graduate is earning close to 100,000 US dollars per annum. These data points are taken from the Bureau of Labor Statistics website published by the government. So these data points are pretty accurate. You can clearly see that a master's degree will give you a better salary. I'll explain this to you with a live example. Now here are the common job roles that bioinformatics graduates apply to. And here you can see that a bioinformatics engineer and a bioinformatics scientist make on an average of 100,000 US dollars. And in order to apply to these job roles, you need an MSc degree in bioinformatics. So clearly a master's degree will give you a great boost in terms of salaries. Now let's look at what are the top states in the USA that employ bioengineers. Number one on that list is California. This state has one of the highest densities of biopharma companies, especially around the San Francisco and San Diego region. Next on the list is the state of Massachusetts, which is a major biopharma cluster, especially around the city of Boston. So there are a huge number of job openings that will be available post-graduation. Next on the list is North Carolina. And within North Carolina, the Rayleigh Research Triangle has a lot of biopharma companies and potential employers. And finally on the list is the Virginia, Maryland and Washington DC region, which is also termed as the biopharma capital region. This region has a lot of biopharma industries and a lot of investments come into those industries. So this will be also a great place for you to find jobs. And there are a few other biopharma clusters around the USA where you can find jobs. Now let's understand who is eligible to apply for a master's in bioinformatics or computational biology. Now anyone with a bachelor's degree in biomedical engineering, biotechnology, pharmacy, PharmD, computer science, data science, etc. can apply. And apart from that, if you have a BSc in either mathematics, chemistry, biology, physics, etc. or even microbiology can apply to this course. Ideally, your undergraduate coursework should be a mix of mathematics and biology and you should additionally have coding but it's not an absolute requirement. If, it, if you have it, it's good. Otherwise, you can also pursue certification courses in coding. 
By now, you must have already realized that in order to excel in the field of bioinformatics, you need to have interest in mathematics and biology and also be willing to learn coding skills. If you're open to learning all these skills, then you'll unlock potential for tremendous job opportunities in a field that is booming worldwide. Now, here are some good universities in the USA in tier one, two, and three categories that are offering an MSc Bioinformatics degree. In tier one, we have University of California, San Diego, Johns Hopkins University, Georgia Tech, Carnegie Mellon, etc. In tier two, we have North Carolina State University, Northeastern University, Boston University, etc. In tier three, we have San Diego State University, Grand Valley State University, etc. And there are many such universities across all categories, which you can choose based on your profile and budget. Now, my final verdict is, if you come from a biology, engineering or sciences background and you have an interest in computing, then MSc in Bioinformatics will be a great choice as it will open up good job opportunities, it will give you great salaries and you will also have lots to learn in this field. There is going to be an ever-growing demand in this field and you should definitely tap into it. If you have any questions regarding MSc Bioinformatics and careers thereafter, do comment below. If you want to get into good masters in bioinformatics programs, do get in touch with us and we'll guide you to the right universities according to your profile and budget. Thanks for listening. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel and share this video to your fellow bioinformatics enthusiasts. Thank you.